this is a sensor that's tested bad. It, it just nothing coming out of it, so I think it's got a short or something in it. So I wanted to show how to cut them apart. If you cut right along that edge there, and that edge, and that edge, and then down here, just about that deep, just about the thickness of that little lid, right about there. You don't want to go any deeper, or you'll get into the little mylar strip thing. You don't want to mess it up. So I was going to try to cut one apart. See if I can do it on the video. And I'm wearing glasses. Because last time I did it, it slung a hot piece of this plastic in my eye and it didn't feel very good. That wasn't the neatest cut. Just try it. Hopefully, I'll just crack it, pop off in one piece. Okay. Now, I cut one apart and um, brake fluid started pouring out of it. So that was kind of an obvious mistake, error. I can't decide if it looks kind of wet in there. So you pick this little metal clip out of here. All it does is push the little mylar strip up and there's some little metal contacts right here built into the plastic housing. <clears throat> and then if you pry that little guy up, Come on, there it goes. I was catching on a, a burr I left over here. It shouldn't have been that hard to get out. Okay, now, hope I haven't boogered it up. There we go. So you don't want to bend these little tiny fingers in there. Sorry. You don't want to bend those little tiny fingers, so I try to pull it up. And then, it, well... Yeah, just sweep, maybe sweep it while you flick it out. So, yeah, you can see it's wet. It's all wet right there. So I'll probably just wipe it off with uh, alcohol. For starters, you can touch these little contacts with a voltmeter and see if you can get it to you can just follow the circuit and it should be continuous but this one is hard to say hopefully i can bring it to life okay and i'll show you how to put it back so this system has got obviously yeah it's brake fluid it tastes bitter um it's got brake fluid in the housing so i'll spray that out with carburetor cleaner or something and then blow it out with an air hose. <clears throat> to put it back in, you need to get it started there. And curve it around here. And then, here's where I'm trying to, come on. There it goes. 
okay before you just if you just cram it straight down you'll probably bend those little fingers sideways so try to sweep it while you get it up onto those this one's fighting me i think i've got more ridges of plastic there we go okay i just kind of push it down while you sweep the arm and then there was one trick if this one i don't think looked particularly worn so anyway if that's if you're putting it back together then pop this clip in there push that in all the way and then um, get all these crumbs off of here and just glue that lid back on and fill it i've been using um like a silicone concealer this this stuff permatex just anything to keep crap out of there um, fill the grooves full and keep dirt out and that should be it so this one doesn't look too bad um, I had one you could see the little stripes the three little finger where the fingers run and they were super deep yeah you can see this one's it's deeper get the right the light. this is where it's been running from between here and here that's just where it ran but it is can sweep from all the way from up to here so it, I don't know which one goes further I think the clutch has a wider sweep than the shift and position sensors so as I always say I think and I think the clutch is more tolerant of um, little jumps and weird crap going on in it so if you have trouble with one you can swap it between the the clutch position sensor and the shift and select sensors but if those grooves are too deep or you, you think they're getting too deep then uh, that one trick was to push this in there but just don't don't push it all the way down stop just short um well i think yeah i think one, one trick i was doing was put a little dab of like uh, super glue on the back but position it just up like ten thousandths of an inch which is about the width of one of those little fingers and you've got some fresh material there for this to ride on it can ride between those three those three little stripes it can ride between them or off to the side here there's some good material that it can pick up fresh material and i think that'll work because no, there's nothing in there once you get it positioned there's really nothing going to make it move slide up and down